Hi guys, it's Katie here from Bella Creativa and I'm going to try to do a little video today on how I've made these three pockets here on the right hand side. Um, I've been looking at different ways to do matting on some of my um, SVG projects. So on the left hand side here, uh, all the pieces that make the Legrand organizer um, so when I upload the files to Design Space, then I tend to make a whole project. Um, I make, sorry, I make a project and, and I put all the pieces in there together and then I'll call it Legrand Organizer and save it as a project. So um, it's all been done. I've already changed all of the cut lines to score lines. I've attached them to all the pieces. And this means that then I, if I select this group, I can change the size of that whole thing so I can make it the Legrand organizer bigger or smaller but I don't want to play with it right now so <laughs> um, but I could just move this arrow and it would make my whole um, Legrand organizer bigger or smaller to suit what I want to do but today um, I've been looking at these three different methods of matting that I thought you might like to see so I'm going to start by replicating each of these um, so first of all I'm just going to ungroup this little guy here this little group so that I can take this pocket this is just an example and this is how I work so when I'm putting a page layout together I have everything to the left hand side and then whatever I think I want to use I duplicate and I move it to the right hand side that way I can sort of lay out the pieces and try and decide if that's what I want to do. So now I'm just going to select all of that again and group it together just because there's so much happening in my layers panel. It gets a bit confusing and I lose all the pieces. And then I'm going to just hide that group and I might just duplicate that two more times for each of our examples. Okay. I'll just put this one over here for now so we have a bit of space and this one over here and let's start by doing this cutout so I'm just going to come in a little bit closer so we can see that I'm going to work on this cutout here so this is my pocket and the pink piece on top is the mat and the bottom piece um, the green piece is the pocket itself so I'm going to start by ungrouping that because it's all grouped together and for in this example I've used a little B and I've cut it out of both of the mat and the pocket so it could be a bit like a window. So I'm going to go and find my B. So I'm going to there we go. click on images. Oh, what's going on this morning? My computer's cold like me. Click on images. This almost never happens. There we go. And I've already done a search for B and I just selected this first one here. As a cutout, I thought that was a great design. So I'm just going to click on that one and click insert. And there he is over there. So I'm just going to bring him over here and pop him on top of my pocket. I've decided that I wanted to put him in the little corner but before that I'm going to duplicate that B so I have two B's and I'm going to select both of those B's and center them so they're sitting right on top of each other and then while I've got them both selected I'm going to decide where they're going to go so I think I might make him a little touch smaller and pop him in the corner like so Okay, so then I am going to hide my green pocket. So I'll just hide that. And I'm also going to hide one of the bees, so I'll hide that. And then I'm going to select my, my mat and the B, one B, and click slice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so then over in my layers panel, I'm going to select the first black slice result and click delete. I'm going to do the same with the pink slice result and there I have my B cut out of my mat but I also want to cut it out of my pocket so then I am going to um, unhide my pocket and I will hide my mat that I've already cut out 
and I'm going to unhide my B and they're all sitting in the same place I haven't moved them but what I do need to do is detach my score lines so I'm going to click on my pocket and it's as you can see I've attached them so I'm just going to detach those and then I'm going to click on my oh now I have to ungroup them because they're also grouped together so now I'm going to click ungroup and then the score lines I'm going to hide and then I'm going to send this guy the pocket itself to the back center back okay and now I can select the whole thing and click slice and I can do exactly the same thing I'm going to delete that first slice result I'm going to select and delete that second slice result and then I have the B in my pocket cut out as well so then I can um, unselect my score lines and they're sitting at the back they're behind this pocket so I'm going to click on my pocket and say send back so then I can um, select the whole thing and uh, that's the score lines and the pocket and click attach and then I'm going to click on it again and send it to the back and then I can unhide my slice result mat and that's going to pop up directly on top just like that and they are perfectly aligned so then I'm just going to group those guys together and that's how we can make a little cutout in our pocket and our mat that's exactly the same so that's that one there this one's even easier this is if you want to do foiling then um, I use a laminator to foil and I have to print it on my laser printer in black um, ink if I want to do that so for this one I'll just drag this guy over here I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm going to select my mat only and I am going to say um, I'm going to change it to white like so and then I need my B so I'm going to go back over to my images and select my B again and insert that where are you B? And bring him over here. I'm going to decide where I want to put him. So you could use the align feature and center him if you wanted to. Let's do that. We'll select the whole thing and we'll click center. I did a pretty good job. Only moved over a squidge. Okay, so then I'm going to hide my pocket. I'm going to click on my B. And right now it's going to cut my B, but I want it to print my B. So I'm going to select print in the fill and that's that. And then I'm going to select my mat and my B together and click uh, flatten. And that's um, attached the B or flatten the B onto um, the um, mat itself. So now it will print that in black on my laser printer and then I can put some foil on top of that and run that through my laminator and I'll have a shiny bee. So then I'll just um, unhide my pocket and group those guys together. And that's how I would go about doing print and cut with foiling. So then there's this one, um, print and cut foam matting. Now I'm, I'm really curious about this one whether you guys think that this is a bit of a game changer or if you think it's something that you wouldn't be likely to do but let's go through it anyway so normally we cut out our pocket and then we cut out our mat and then we stick physically stick the mat to the pocket but in this instance i'm going to get my cricket to physically stick it to the pocket and cut it out as one piece like that so first of all we need to ungroup these guys and I'm going to change my mat to print like so and then I'm going to click on the little pink one here and change it from color to pattern and I have already uploaded some patterns into um, Cricut Design Space that I wanted to use so I'm just going to select one of these guys here Let's go with that one see where we go 
and it's going to fill my mat with that pattern that I've selected. And there's already a lot of patterns in Cricut Design Space, but these are ones that I've uploaded myself. And they're printables that I have downloaded, I've purchased from Etsy and downloaded. So now I'm going to click on Edit Pattern. And you can see that there's this line through here. Because it's not a, a seamless pattern, it doesn't repeat. It's kind of ended halfway through where my mat is, and I don't want that. Then also, because it's quite a small piece, I think I want to make the um, scale a bit larger as well. So let's just play around with this scaling a bit and see what happens. This is a little bit um, hit and miss. But I actually really like that with my little bee down in the corner and the flowers at the top. So I'm going to leave it just like that. But you can also move it around from side to side. Like so. If you can see it just moves over minutely. Actually, let's just move it over a little bit. So I'm moving it over to the left so that my bee is a little bit more in the corner. Come on. It takes a bit. Okay, just like that. And maybe I want to bring it down a little bit. So if I click on the vertical, which way is it going to go? There, yeah, it's dropping it down a little bit. So I'm just dropping it down so my bee's a little bit more in the corner and hopefully I can see some of those flowers. Ah, but along here I can see my seam line and I don't want that. So I could scale it up a little bit see if that gets rid of the scale of that line. I think I need to bring it up a little bit so I'm going to decrease my vertical till I get rid of that seam line. Takes a little bit of messing around but I mean the thing is once you've done this you can save it as a project and you could make the same project a few times. Okay, so now maybe I'll make the scale a touch bigger. Isn't that cute? And maybe I'll move it over to the left a little bit more. Perfect. Love it. Okay, so then that's that one done. So now my mat is um, already filled with my, with, um, my pattern. And then I am going to change my um, pocket to a different color and make that a print and cut as well. So right now it's all attached so I have to start by detaching it and I'm going to click on those score lines. Well, I, actually I need to ungroup that whole thing again so we'll click ungroup and hide those score lines and then I'm going to click on my pocket and I'm going to say print and this time I'm going to say which color and I have already selected this color here but let's say I want it to be brown I'm going for sort of a craft look but I want it to be lighter than that brown so then I just move my little my little circle over to a color that I'm happy with that looks pretty good okay and then I'm going to click on my mat and ask that to come to the front uh, actually, I'm going to ask my pocket to go to the back, send my pocket to the back. Okay, so now I'm going to select both of those pieces together and I'm going to say flatten. And then the only other thing we need to do is click on that and send it to the back. Unhide our score lines so now they should be visible. And then select the whole thing and click attach. And that's um, a print and cut mat. Um, I, I'm calling it faux matting because I'm going to have the, the edges of my pocket in that brown and the mat is going to be printed directly on top so I actually don't have to glue my mat on afterwards. So now let's have a look. I'm just going to decrease this. My computer's really slow this morning. Been having some internet problems as well, but nothing is happening. There we go. Okay, so let's just zoom. Oh, I can't believe how slow you're being, computer. 
Okay, so I'm just going to hide these three that I've already done and that writing so that they don't come up in our, um, when we click make it. So then I'll just hide that group. Okay, so there we have our three pockets that we've just made. So if I click make it, we should have two green pockets that are going to cut out. We should have a pink mat with a cutout. We should have a print and cut with the B on the white background. And we should have this print and cut of this whole pocket here. So let's click make it. And on our first page, we have that pocket. And that is going to print out. And it says it's going to print it. And then it's going to score. And then it's going to cut it. So everything's done for us. On this next page, it's just going to print out that black B. And then it's going to cut out our pocket so that I can run it through the laminator and I could have a shiny gold B. Then on my third one I've got my cut out pocket here and then I have my normal pocket here that my foiling's going to go on. And then lastly we have our mat with our cut out there. So we won't do it right now though. <laughs> So anyway, I hope that maybe you have a look at these ideas, these three suggested ideas and see if there's something that you would like to do with those. Um, I just wanted to show you what I had been doing and um, maybe it's something that you'd like to try. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I was thinking that I might make an album after I finish the one I'm working on now using these kinds of ideas. So um, thanks very much for sticking around today and having a look at this. It might have been a little bit dry, but um, I'm not very good at these computer tutorials. <laughs> but I did want to show you because I thought it was pretty cool. So anyway, thanks for, thanks for sticking around and watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now. Bye.